TT New South Wales public sector agency spend billions of dollars on supply from all sorts of contractors across the economy. In our work at the ICAC, we find that a percentage of that is involves corrupt conduct. And a lot of the corrupt conduct and fraud that we uncover in our work at the ICAC could have been prevented with uh, better and, and more robust due diligence processes. So by due diligence, we just mean all of the checks that an agency does um, before it decides whether or not it should be going to business with a particular supplier or that it should be continuing to go to do business with a particular supplier. In June 2020, the New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption released its guidance on supply due diligence. It's aimed at uh, people in the, in the public sector that do procurement work, but also suppliers as well. It's really guidance to help uh, people understand the types of due diligence checks that they can do to make sure they're doing business with a, an authentic and reputable supplier. We've arranged the guidance around five different topics and these can be used by agencies to design the, the specific tests that they need to apply to their procurement activities. So it's important for agencies to do business with genuine suppliers and often we found, find in our work that the supplier might be a fictitious entity or it's set up for the purpose of engaging in corrupt conduct. It's very important that um, agencies discover the, the real bona fides of the company. So it's important for the, the purchasing agency to understand whether their supplier can really deliver the, the goods and services they require. We sometimes find that uh, suppliers will, will win work with an agency despite having no employees, no track record, no other customers, and it's obviously a red flag for things like corrupt conduct. In many situations it's important to um, discover the financial health of your supplier, for instance if it's insolvent or in, in uh, Perhaps the, the directors have previously been involved in bankruptcy proceedings. That's a risk that your agency needs to manage if you decide to do business with that particular supplier. For lots of categories of supply, it's essential that your supplier holds certain accreditations, and that might include things like uh, a license to operate in that industry, they might have to clear a criminal record check or a working with children check, and some of those are must have aspects. Other times, they will, when they tender for, for work, they will hold out that they have particular qualifications and accreditations, and it's important that they be um, proved to be real and authentic as well. Organisations like the Independent Commission Against Corruption obviously make uh, findings of corrupt conduct or adverse findings against various entities, including suppliers, and all sorts of other watchdogs and oversight agencies often publish information about the conduct of, of companies. It's important to know this information before you engage a supplier to work out who you, you're doing business with. So this guidance on supply due diligence forms part of a suite of corruption prevention publications that can be found on our website.